I would describe my book as being a, a very honest look at um, a very honest girl who makes a lot of mistakes. I share a lot of stories about being klutzy and hurting myself. I tend to hurt myself a lot. And I talk about experiences of growing up in the entertainment industry, specifically on Boy Meets World. I share a lot of great pictures and funny stories about, you know, my time with Ben Savage and with Ryder Strong and um, just in general kind of what it was like growing up in the way that I did. I think when um, people read my book, they're gonna be a little surprised to hear about what life was like after Boy Meets World ended. So post 2000, uh, what it was that I started doing and what was going on in my life and what was going on in my head and how I was thinking and how I was feeling. I don't think that's um, a part of an actor or someone in the entertainment industry that you get to see very often. My writing process changed a lot from the time I first started. When I first started, I was like really, you know, I'd wake up, I'd take a shower, I'd get dressed, and then I would sit at the computer like, I'm gonna treat this like a job. Like I'm gonna write, write for these hours or this amount of words. And then eventually I just ended up writing the entire thing in my pajamas whenever I could. I was working full time doing Girl Meets World. And so I was finding that I was having to fit in writing time um, whenever I could. Sometimes it was late at night, uh, sometimes it was super early in the morning, sometimes it was in the middle of the day, but I made sure that I always had a block of, you know, one to two hours at a time where I could really sit down and try to invest in it. I feel like there's a lot of people in the world who want to just display the best of who they are all the time and never really tell the, the true side of what's really going on. And uh, I think especially that's true for actors. People have this idea that actors or celebrities have their stuff together all the time. And the truth is that we just don't. And so I hope people can read the book and feel connected to me and also feel like, ah, you know what? My life is perfectly okay just the way it is even when it's messy.